back to STB Sport Channel. You are watching a great match today. Yes, third and third match between Ireland and uh, Scotland. After winning the toss, Ireland chose to bat to today, and uh, it's a uh, Steckel got out for 16. Lewis got out for 16. Delaney, the captain, got out for 17. And Kavanagh, earlier in the last match, she got a fantastic innings, 47 of uh, 39 balls, which is uh, very, very important, of course. Uh, so, Prendergast, along with uh, Prendergast, Kavanagh, both of them are batting a fantastic shot this time. It's a boundary, definitely will leave it. Oh, there is a fielder at the deep. Uh, but still, the batters managed to get two runs of it. So, it's a good batting now. But uh, not good runs on the board as of now, you can see. So, 10 overs gone. It's 61 for 3 as of now. 3 wickets gone already. So, the runs required is very, very important. Runs required more. It's 5.90 current run rate. So, not a good runs on the board as of now. 61 for the loss of 3 after 10.2 overs. Kavanagh and Prendergast are at the middle. Very next ball which has been driven towards a mid wicket where there is a fielder getting a single. So, added to the total now, it's a 3 wicket for 62 runs. Kavanagh and Prendergast, both of them are playing now. So, we can see that uh, the bowling attack of uh, Scotland is quite impressive today compared to yesterday's. A good, beautiful playground there. City. Civil Services Club, Cricket Ground, which is uh, very, very beautiful to see. Behind, uh, behind the ground, there are a fantastic uh, row of trees, which uh, give a pleasant uh, atmosphere here. Another one, this time, moved on to the point region where there is a fielder no runs 62 for the loss of three after 10.5 overs so Kavanagh and Prendergast are at the middle still in this over they got only three runs of it so 5.72 is the current run rate 9.1 overs remaining still and another ball which has been Again driven towards a point and there is a field uh, piercing in between is not possible by these two but uh, we can expect somewhere somewhere they can manage to make it. Maksud will come and continue her fourth over show. So far Glenn one over nine runs. Bryce Ketha Bryce, Catherine Bryce, the captain, two overs, five runs, no wicket. Chatterjee, one over, eight runs. McGill, two overs, 11 runs. Maksud, two wickets for 12 runs. So, good bat, a bowling attack from Masood. So, can we expect some good bowling attack from Maksud today? Already, she is very fine. Will she carry few more of Ireland? <clears throat> she continues. McGill McCall, the new bowler, is uh, started her bowling attack. First time she is bowling here. McCall, MJ McCall, the new bowler, started her first. Uh, bowling here today comes and bowls his second ball this time oh just defensive placement no runs a 
ख्याति मिल वेरी नेक्स्ट बॉल विच एस पिन अगेन डिफेंसिव प्लेसमेंट विच एस पिन प्लेस डिफेंसिवली एंड नो रन ऑफ कोर्स इट सिक्सटी टू फॉर द लॉस ऑफ थ्री आयरलैंड और स्ट्रगलिंग अलॉट कंपेयर टू एस टूडे दे हैव परफॉर्मिंग वेरी वेल टूडे दे आर ट्राइंग हार्ड टू मेक इट एपन टूडे कंपेयर टू एलियर सो वेरी नेक्स्ट बॉल विच एस पिन लॉफ्टिंग फॉर अ गुड शॉट बट not get quite connect with the bat and it straight to the wicket keeper so no runs on the board 62 for the loss of 3 after 11.4 overs the bowler still and needs to continue her bowling attack now in the very next ball she comes and bowls now this time goes for a fantastic square drive uh, there is a fielder that deep still managed to get a single now Kavana Khan, Prendergast are at the middle now. So Kavana on eight, Prendergast on two. Very next ball comes and bowls this time. It's a defensive placement, no runs. So totally the end of uh, this over. Only one run so far. McCall, a very fantastic uh, bowling attitude, did very well. And McGill, bowled two overs for eleven runs so far. Two overs, eleven runs so far. So we'll have to wait and see what will be the next. McGill will continue her uh, third over now. she got uh, no wicket so far kavanak and prender uh, prender cast are at the middle still magil comes and bowls uh, her third over now will she pick any wicket here very first ball of this over which has been driven fantastic mid wicket drive but there is a deep field uh, and even though batsman managed to get two runs the batters managed to get two runs of course so it's a 65 for three wickets already so wickets are intact no problem but still need a big shots that is very important now very next ball which has been lofted towards mid wicket again in between two fielders the ball landed in no man area even though batsman managed to batters managed to get a single now some of the uh, lasting shots some of the lofting shots are going on here at this moment Michael comes and continue her bowling attack. Michael comes and bowls now. This time it's straight drive, but there is a field at the mid on where she fielded well and she hits the stumps even. But even the batters managed to get a single comfortably, so no problem at all. no damage done and uh, the fielder is well set at uh, the mid on region she is very active very next ball which has been just pushing it towards uh, covers and extra covers and getting a single now so as of now a 68 for the loss of 3 after 12.4 overs uh, can we expect a lot more from these uh, batters yesterday also these two have stayed for a longer time especially kavanar will that be repeated today 
very next ball comes and ball g strike goes for a shot but straight to the field the cover fielder no runs maksud who filled that very well today at the covers without uh, giving a single run what a fantastic fielding day from scotland they restricted the batters to 68 so far after 12 overs you can expect another 60 runs not more than that it's very important vital at this moment so very next ball which has been lofting to a over the head of the two fielders but uh, landed no man area and even though bat batters managed to get a single so it's end of the over the, in this over a six run so far and mccall will come and continue her second over now she is a new bowler as far as this batter bowl this match is concerned she started her first over and second over she is starting now so kavanak and prendergast uh, are continuing their batting ireland need a uh, good long shots most of the over the head of the field is for a boundary and uh, over the rope can they make it happen so mccall comes and bowls her first uh, ball of second over which has been laughably played very well and it's a boundary over the deep covers render grass Render Gast uh, who caught a fantastic handling of, of batting, lofting shots were over the he fielder's head, which uh, crosses the boundary rope. Good shot. 73 for the loss of three now. Very next ball comes and bows. This time again. Oh, it's also towards. Uh, squares that there is a field uh, but uh, too late to pick and throw in the meantime batters managed to get two off it so 75 for the loss of three suddenly there are good runs coming over mccall continuing her bowling attack over this time straight to will that be a out yes it is so stumping clear stumping there so we can see it's a fender ghost got out the wicket keeper did the magic here she picks and stumped well so fourth wicket count 75 for the loss of four it's a new batter merits at the middle now lara merits here the table is 24 the april 17 it's her debut versus uh, singland so 2017 april 24 she she has uh, been in a debut so it's already 5 years so far she has been into this squad and mccall picks a fantastic wicket after giving some runs she picks a wicket and of course the wicket keeper did a fantastic effort there by making a good stumping there very next ball comes and bows this time straight oh into the slips will that be a boundary as it is a fantastic slip drive great flick into the slips and it was a fantastic drive a boundary now a great effort uh, from the new batters
Oh, another boundary this time. Two back to back boundaries. Merits play very well. Playing a superb innings here. Started well in, in our second first two first ball which has been sent back to the into the slips and second one which is uh, played very well to the slips in between two fielders the ball reaches boundary another one this time straight to the wicket keeper no runs so she is playing very well merits Laura Merits playing very well today. Can she make some good runs for Ireland? Yes, laughter shot. Will that be a catch? Will that be a catch? Yes, Matsu did no mistake in taking the catch and uh, Merits got out. Laura Merits and another McCall picks a wicket here. Great wicket. So new batter into the field now, Kavanagh, she is uh, having a chat with the new batter. So there are plenty of overs to go, 6.1 overs to go still and needs a big score here at this moment. So 84 for the loss of 4 now, can we expect a few more here at this moment. So new batter having a chat with Kavanagh. The existing partner the uh, partner the counterpart so batters are uh, being preferred to continue and it's a bowling attack again from will that be from McGill yes it is from McGill no actually she's a new bowler Laura Paul into the at the middle now can we expect some good runs here first ball locked a shot but straight to the fielder deep getting a single off the mark Laura Paul and Kavanagh on 12 now Mackil uh, Fraser, the bowler. We can see that uh, she's a she caught one wicket already, one for 17. So she's uh, bowling her third over now. Fraser and next ball. Oh, straight driven, but straight to the fielder, getting a single now. This time Thurman region, will that be a boundary? No, there is a fielder, but even though batters managed to get two. So good batting, tricky batting here. 88 for the loss of five, 14.3 overs gone. So Paul and Havana are at the middle. Lee Paul. Lee Paul, the earlier in the last match, she got uh, three wickets. For 17 runs will she repeat here while in her turn very next ball straight to the fielder no runs Lee Paul will she pick some good runs here very next ball again defensive placement no runs some of the good opportunities here for Ireland but they are not uh, prepared to go over the top as of now they didn't have a right batter to go over the top as of now 
only one we have seen earlier one boundaries back to back boundaries that was uh, merits who she did two consecutive boundaries in her first itself lee paul joined to the uh, in our debate she got uh, 24th april 9 2007 ben strokes her uh, favorite player she is also in the field in the squad for the last 5 years in the ireland will out wait and see kavanagh and uh, league pal so maksud continuing her fourth over now 2 for 12 very good bowling today there is a chance for run out but even though batters managed to get a single today maksud uh, bowling very well she is uh, bowling her fourth over so there are changes in the fielding arrangements so some of the fielders are being changed now uh, after the captain's uh, having a chat with the captain maksud she is very very vital today she is bowling very well very next ball comes and ball she start a sweep shot but still the bat, the fielder at the deep can manage to make it happen and only one run added to the total maksud the bowler Matsu comes and bowls this time. It's a pen spin bowling, but uh, a square shot. But still, the bat has managed to get a single, even though she lost to go for a. <coughs> she she lost while going for a stumping. Sorry, run out. So the captain. had a chat with uh, maksud another one this time it's a left hander which has been locking towards uh, backward squares and there is a fielder getting a single so left right combination going on at the middle now we can see the left right combination is quite impressive and the fielders are quite changing in every ball you can see very next ball which has been driven towards a uh, long on where there is a fielder but she just misses it and even though batters can manage to get a single only not much runs over there in this over so far five runs in five balls another one this time a great shot but uh, in between two fielders but still played very well and feel that but restricting the batsman to get their boundary and it's only two runs of it good shot but there is a fielder at the deep feel that very well those who are watching our channel or are requested to subscribe our channel don't forget to press the notification don't forget to recommend the same to your friends and family as uh, the match is going very well today and tomorrow is very very important and vital today and tomorrow it's uh, very vital for these two ireland and uh, Scotland are continuing their playing now very very good shot that but straight to the fielder at the square not getting the runs of course it's only 95 for the loss of five now after losing five wickets Ireland are 
not doing very well compared to yesterday so we'll have to wait and see what will happen stay tuned we'll be coming back Good shot here at this moment but straight to the field and it's a wicket now. 96 for 6. One more wicket gone. Ireland are 96 for the loss of 6, 16.2 overs gone. Lake Paul got out for 7 runs. New batter into the middle now. Another great shot, a fantastic six year to the dressing room of uh, Ireland. What a shot it is from the new, new batter. Over the top and into the dressing room. Of course, it was uh, from Kamanak. She did very well today. 23 of 24 so far. So, 1 or 2 for the last of 6 now. Good shot. Another one. Will that be a single? Yes, it is. Playing towards... Uh, Quires and getting a single now. One or three for the loss of six now. Another one this time again to the square leg region getting a single now. So one out four for the loss of six as of now. Rachel Dilani, 19, 19 in the squad number. And McLanning, the favorite player, 24th April 2017 against England. She got as a debutton on 24th April 2017, so five years so far since then. So, Dilani, the new batter into the crease. As of now, we can see Kavanagh, 24 of 25. Rest of them are Prendergast, 10 of 13. Uh, Lara Dilani, most of them are, we can see that uh, they are not having a good runs on the board today. Oh, good shot, but straight to the field, uh, getting a single now. Kamana and Dilani are at the middle. Chatterjee, 1 over 8 runs. McGill, 3 over 17 runs. Maksud, 4 overs 19 runs, 2 wickets. Fraser, 4 overs 29, 2 wickets. So, Bryce. Two overs so far. Good shot, but still 
the fielder missed it and two runs of it the batters are started firing now remaining in the three overs whatever maximum possible they need to pick it out so it's a great batting very next ball straight to the fielder uh, the third man region getting a single so far it's a uh, five runs in this over Catherine Price the fantastic uh, captain who herself continue her bowling attack very next ball which has been just slicing it to the third man region where there is a field uh, she can manage to get two of it so Dilani and Kavana both of them are doing very well the captain started bowling herself Kamana Khan 27 oh there is a chance for run out but uh, both the field either both of them batter and the fielder or got down into the ground so the batter made very well she come back into the crease another one this time to the square leg region getting a single yes it is so far 2 4 5 6 7 runs so far in this over so it's the end of the over number 17 so 18 sorry remaining two overs to go so triple one for the loss of six as of now ireland they required good runs in these two overs of course they got another four uh, batters to come so dilani and kavana both of them are capable of making it so they are batting very well today so we'll have to wait and see so captain comes and have a chat with the new bowler and praise it Fraser completed her four three overs so far 17 runs so she needs to continue her fourth over now Fraser to finish her fourth over of course if this is Megill I think let be a Megill or Fraser shot straight down but still there is a field stopping the counterpart to going for a second Sorry, it's a uh, 1-1-2 for the loss of six as of now. Kavanagh 27 and Dilani on six. Beautiful playground. We can see the atmosphere are quite good. A fantastic huge shot. Will that be crossing over the boundary of yes, it is. Wow, what a fantastic six it is. From Kavanagh, a great batter. started firing now what a shot it is from the phrases bowling attack oh the boundary rose at the mid wicket region wow very next ball which has been another boundary this time what a shot it is extra cup dry what a shot a fantastic player kavanak started firing now she can completely reading every ball making it perfect what a fantastic shot great power in her 37 of 29 the last match also she got a fantastic 47 of 39 another one Oh it's a clean bowl and it's a wicket Kavana got out for 37 of 29 here in the last match she got 47 of 39 here it is a 37 of 29 good bowling attack LBW
37 of 30. It's a new batter into the crease. 122 for 7. 1.2 overs to go. Fraser did well so far. Even though she gave some runs. 11 runs so far. Sorry, it's McGill. But picks a wicket at this moment. McGill continue our bowling now. Two more balls to go in this over. Rachel Delani along with uh, Rack. The new batter. Rachel Delani and uh, uh, Rack. At the at the middle now. <clears throat> Very next ball. Last ball of this over. Fantastic boundary will that be? Yes, it is. A great shot by Dilani. At this time, Rachel Dilani squeezing it towards a slip, and it's a boundary. No fielder at the slip and it's a boundary, fantastic boundary. Of course, uh, some of the good runs are coming now. 122 for the loss of 7 now. 126 for the loss of 7 now. That was rack. That was not Dilani, that was a rack where she placed it to the slips and captain. Catherine Bruce will continue her fourth over now. Last over of these innings. Captain herself continued. And Dilani, this time, Captain Catherine Bruce straight into the stumps. But the batters can't able to make it as a good run oh will that be a boundary no there is a fielder but still there is a mishap and it's two runs of it again two runs of it so in the second ball two runs One twenty-eight for the loss of seven. This time she makes it another opportunity here at this moment. So three dot, uh, two dot balls and one sing, two, uh, double. So one twenty-eight. She needs another two more to finish one thirty as a target. So definitely we can expect Dilani, the captain, comes and bowls now. Last over. Next ball. Slicing it to the third man region getting a single. So 129. The target already 130. We can see that. The target fixed 130. But another two more balls to go. Captain Catherine continuing her bowling attack. This time oh this time to the backwards quite like will that be a boundary as it is oh what a shot the fielder can't able to make it good it's a boundary oh what a shot it is backwards quite like region see she makes it perfect the fielder very near to the fielder the ball reaching boundary no problem for getting some good runs even at the last ball so 133 for the loss of 7. Last ball of this innings. Last ball. Shot. But straight to the field. Oh, here also there is a miss field. Will that be as it is? It's a only one, one run. And at the very next ball, it's a wicket. Run out. While taking second run.
133 of course 134 we can say 135 is a target definitely we can say One thirty four is the target. Will that be one thirty five? So, good score on the board, we can say. Not a bad score, six point seven zero current trend rate. So, one thirty five is the target for one thirty five is the target for Scotland. Will they continue today to make it happen? Scotland will have to continue. Stay tuned, we'll be coming back after the innings break.
got two they got lost two wickets and it's a quite impressive shot this time from the Scotland batter it was uh, the captain Catherine Breeze she is on eight of 15 balls and McGill the uh, batter another batter who is on four of nine balls so the bowling attack is uh, still going at uh, the very right way but uh, this time it's a cover drive there is a fielder at the deep getting a single now McKill on 4 and Catherine Breeze on 10 so it's 25 for the loss of 2 now 7.3 overs gone it's a great match going on 3.33 current run rate required is 8.80 slightly reducing now from 9 so very next ball this time uh, it's uh, straight to the wicket keeper so no runs of course so two more balls there to continue first ball it was wide so the Scotland batting is quite impressive today compared to the Ireland they were suffered a lot but here it is not happening for Scotland they are very well planned and they are very well executing so it's not an easy task to pick some good runs on the board but uh, the, uh, the condition here it is uh, quite impressive now the playing conditions so you can see another fantastic shot a straight drive to the boundary oh what a shot it is both the Scotland batters they are very eager and very well executed shots this time picks it to the long on and getting a single now as of now we can see that the captain herself is there at the middle so along with the captain we can see that a great possible chance for Scotland to get those runs 30 for the loss of two but it's not two big runs on the board so eight overs gone it's only 30 runs but compared to the um, uh, Ireland they are very least in in terms of getting sc uh, scoring runs so it's 30 for the loss of two after eight overs but still they are kept their uh, wickets intact so there are possibilities rack continuing her bowling attack of what a shot but straight to the fielder and getting a single now some of the try that they are making is quite impressive McKill and uh, Bryce the Catherine Bryce the captain so as of now it's uh, from Ireland is concerned uh, Rack is uh, continuing their bowling attack but uh, another ball the same region to the uh, uh, mid wicket region a single again to the brace both of them are at 10 runs each another bowling another ball this time it's a straight to the covers and getting a single now some of the good runs are coming out of it uh, no problem at all but still uh, not an easy task to pick all those things again runs are required more and this time straight to the oh again straight to the side screen region long on fielder well collects the ball of course uh, so it's only single added to the total some of the shots that they are trying are keeply watched by the fielders they are very keen on getting those uh, runs of course uh, another one which has been 
pick to the mid wicket region but still getting a single so far at four runs of it good try from scotland batters of course uh, good uh, fielding restrictions from ireland side so very rock this time straight to the uh, mid wicket region again a single so as of now it's five runs of it two overs gone kenning the bowler completed her four overs so far 20 runs good bowling from kenning and uh, ava kenning four overs 20 runs no wicket no maiden and selisi rack one overs one uh, of course two overs seven runs so far so two overs eight runs so far a good bowling attack from the uh, two bowlers as of now so we can see that uh, these two bowlers are very much uh, doing their job here lara merits continuing her bowling attack here at this moment so she also can carry some good uh, uh, runs earlier but uh, will she get a wicket here that's very important 35 for the loss of two at this moment so merits comes and continue her bowling attack of Ireland to straight to McGill will that be a big one no actually straight to the fielder no runs merits got uh, some struggle in bowling merits comes and bowls now to McGill oh this time a shot but straight to the field at uh, the backward point where there is a backward square leg where there is a field only one run added to the total as of now it's 36 for the loss of two 9.2 overs gone so remaining in that uh, 100 runs required of course 99 runs required to win over 99 of course 100 runs required now again she is uh, not in a position to bowl well merits again struggling a little bit in terms of uh, footing another one this time picks it to the covers there there is a fielder the deep getting hold of it and it's just only single added to the total 37 for the loss of two after 9.3 bobbers so we can see that uh, the bowling attack is quite impressive as of, uh, as of uh, uh, Ireland are concerned. It's not good batting from Scotland so far but somewhat they are trying hard but this time straight to the it's a no ball clean no ball. So it's a free hit we can see now free hit from Merritt's so Catherine Bruce and McGill are continuing their batting so we can see that uh, this time it's a free hit free hit uh, uh, can be used very well without we have to wait McGill start firing but straight to the field uh, even though the batters uh, didn't uh, get uh, even a single so it's a dot ball very well bowled by merits target is 130 by still requiring some runs on the board so mckill on 13 captain on 12 <laughs> another one this time we can see that uh, Very next ball comes and bows this time. Merits to Catherine. It's a fine shot. Will that be a boundary? Yes, it is a fast moving ball. A clean outfielder. It's a clean outfield which gave a boundary. Fast outfield, we can say. But uh, straight away, the ball reaching to the extra cover region. Boundary rope for a boundary. In between two fielders. Covers and extra cover fielders in between two. The ball reaches the boundary. Fantastic strike 
from these two. Both of them are well set at the middle as of now. McGill and uh, Bro, uh, the captain Catherine Bros can make some good runs uh, over there. As of now, six runs, seven runs. So six runs so far. So it's very important, vital at this moment. So Paul comes and continues her bowling attack from uh, Ireland. Very next ball as of now. Very, very fresh over now. But straight to the bowler. So no runs, of course. <laughs> McKill and uh, Catherine Bruce, the captain of Scotland. Both of them are at the middle. Can they make some good runs of it? 42 of 2. Shot. Definitely. It's a misfield. Of course, there is a great chance of catch. There is a uh, miss catch, we can say. But McGill and uh, Catherine Bruce continuing their batting. 43 for the loss of two now. Very next ball, which has been laughed at, but this time it's straight to the field uh, at the backward point. Well set. McGill got out for 17 of 22. First week, second, third wicket gone. McGill didn't expect. She just uh, shaking his head and uh, returning back to his Paulian. Her Paulian, of course, it's a fantastic shot, but uh, didn't make it quite impressive quite easy did make it to the distance but it was a fine wicket for Ireland so 43 for 3 after 10 overs not a good runs on the board but still we can expect some of the good shots from Scotland even so captain still there Catherine Bruce still there at the middle so we can expect some more along with Chatterjee the new batter into the crease now McCall, the man, the batter into the middle. She also bowled very well, picks a couple of wickets, McCall. So she is there at the middle now. Will that be checked whether she can make some good runs of it? She bowled well. Will she continue with the bat? Wickets in hand are seven. Still, there are a lot of wickets. Oh, another one. Will that be a catch? Yes, it is. This time another wicket gone, back to back wicket for the bowler, back to back wicket, she is on hat trick now, Ali Paul, she is on hat trick, this time the fielder who is at the extra cover, who fielded very well and made it a fantastic catch at the end, McCall who got a good bowling can't able to perform in terms of batting but back to the pavilion the captain uh, only at the middle so it's already 43 for 4 43 for 3 and 43 for 4 now Catherine Bruce Forty-three for the loss of three. Ten point three overs gone. It's a new man at the crease. Le Paul on a trick. Will that be a wicket? No. 
but uh, there is a misfield and getting a single now that has managed to get some single Chatterjee into the crease now Bruce and Chatterjee can these two Captain and Chatterjee can these two can make it happen 43 for the loss of four already both the both the team have got one win each if they win any one of the team who wins this match will lead the series so far yes it's a shot Catherine a fantastic shot but straight to oh there is a run out chance but uh, missed out by the uh, extra cover fielder Catherine Breeze and of course Chatterjee both of them are trying hard to make some good runs of course the captain herself will stand at the crease for a longer time she needs the victory we can understand that the captain's uh, way of uh, body language way of uh, batting shows that she needs the victory Catherine Bryce and Pia Chatterjee are at the middle Priyana's Chatterjee Priyana's Chatterjee and uh, Catherine Bruce are at the middle very next ball but uh, this time straight to the long on fielder no run Catherine Price and Priya strategy very next ball it's a straightly again it's a defensive shots no runs of course on the board 45 for the loss of four after 11.2 it's still still struggling the scotland the batters are still struggling the ireland bowlers are very experienced they can they are in a very good position matrix merits continuing her bowling attack this time straight down to the crown but straight the field will still be there and even though they are getting their single in this over this is the first run so far in this over merits bowling her full strength another one this time merits to Bryce now the captain a shot but straight to the point fielder no runs Merits get some good bowling attack. So as of now, Catherine Bryce and Chatterjee are continue their batting now. Very next nice ball. Shot. Fantastic shot. Well bowled by Merits. What a bowling attack. What a comeback compared to her last over. This is her well comeback. A straight ball. It's a Yorker can't able to face by the batter just uh, go for a defensive placement very next nice ball comes and ball this time it's a shot but uh, it's not piercing the circle straight to the point fielder no runs Chatterjee and uh, Catherine Bryce both of them are Still having some good opportunity here at this moment. Will they make it happen? That's very important, vital. We'll have to wait and see what will happen. Chatterjee will have to face Lee Paul. Got two wickets already in three balls. So she has picked two wickets in the last over. Will that be continued for, for by Paul? Another one. But it's a void ball. Yes, it is. 46 for the loss of 4 now. Again, straight to the wicket keeper. No runs. 47 for the loss of 4 now.
but this time it's a shot but straight to the field even two runs can be possible no it's only one run added to the total This time it's shot, but will that be a boundary? Yes, it is. No field at the, at the mid at the backward square. Fine shot. What a shot! It is a boundary, fantastic boundary. Played very well by the captain of Scotland. Good shot. Catherine Bruce Shot Let's straight to the back third man region single end of the over number 13 another boundary will that be two runs of it end of the over stay tuned will be coming back Welcome back, it's uh, over number 14 now, 58 for the loss of 4, Merits comes and bowl her very next ball uh, over, already 2 runs off it, it's a clean bowl, what a fantastic wicket it is, and it's Chatterjee got out of Scotland for 6 runs, so another wicket gone, good bowling attack from Merits, as we have been discussing since uh, from her first over she has been very well bowled and it's a wicket now clean bowl Chatterjee bowled by Merits for 6 runs of 10 balls it's another good opportunity here at this moment that uh, Scotland need a big runs chase here already they require 80 runs of course we can see 135 77 runs required of 39 balls. The captain still there at the middle. Erkan Drummond 
the new batter at the middle. I can remind the captain at the middle. Stay tuned, we'll be coming back after a small break. of 5 after 13.5 overs not a good runs on the board but 76 runs required of 37 balls can he have a good bowling attack from now onwards if uh, they restrict definitely it will be a great problem for the Scotland definitely it's quite impressive and tight as of uh, now we can see that not a good sign on the board so the bowling attack is quite impressive but we'll have to wait and see what will be the maximum those who are watching our channel are here be requested to subscribe don't forget to press the notification symbol and it's great batting going on at the middle as of now in terms of uh, bowling attack, it's uh, quite impressive bowling. It's not a good, great batting. As we can see that uh, initially they start well, but afterwards uh, they are meant to perform very well. Murray, the next bowler, Murray, continuing her uh, bowling attack to the man so of course we can see Murray started her first one she is also a very good bowler very next ball first one going for a good shot will that be a wicket yes it is at the very right moment very fast Murray picks a wicket of uh, demand she picks a wicket caught behind is the signal So another wicket gone, Drumman got out for a single run, nobody is uh, supporting the captain Kara Murray, so she has been in the team from 1st February 2018, she got out back to the pavilion and we can't, we can't say that it's huge wicket but still Catherine Bros and uh, Lister the new wicket at uh, the middle new player at the middle can we expect some runs from these two except Catherine Bruce she is the only batter got some very fine shot this time lander in the no, no man area of course uh, two runs of eight will that be a single or two single run added to the total lister gets single and bruise on 24 Catherine Bruce continuing with 24 another shot but straight to the oh will that be a boundary no there is a field at the deep and even though bats, batters managed to get two so Catherine Browse started firing now. She needs to go over the top. 66 for the loss of 6. Not a big score on the board. Definitely Scotland are in deep trouble. Another one. This time will be a boundary. No, no, no. Yes. It's not a boundary. 
the fielder who did very well but uh, managed to get three of it fielder did well fielder at the edge of the boundary she ran fast and made it right will that be a boundary or a good fielding has to be checked of course uh, it's a three runs 69 for the loss of 6 after 14.4 overs this time it's straight to the fielder of uh, backward square leg getting a single so both the player bryce and lister are blistering some of the shots so far it's 5 6 7 runs of it Catherine Bryce and Lister will that be a wicket no <laughs> Catherine Bryce and uh, Lister another bowling attack from the merits no it's not merits it's from ilani that be captain against captain well out to check whether it is uh, dilani which dilani lk dilani so the captain of uh, uh ireland so at this time it is uh, 88 for 5 what a shot fine shot but a boundary yes it is first ball boundary captain to lk dilani to lister she is played very well to the backward uh, point where there is a field but she can't able to stop it it's a boundary good boundary welcome boundary for scotland sirland are trying hard bryce and lister shot but will that be a carry will that be carried no landed in a safe and it's single added to the total Laura Dilani the captain continuing her bowling attack from Ireland squad of course uh, captain to captain Scotland captain planning to go over will that be a boundary no there is a fielder the deep in the long on fielder goes to the mid wicket region getting us some good fielding there and it's another captain to captain now we can see lister will continue the captain's bowling now this time it's a clear shot but uh, will that be carried will that be carried yes it is it's a catch so another wicket this time lister got out captain Dilani gets a wicket now. Captain's knock we can say. Lister comes and continuing 